there. I just came across this famous quote by Albert Einstein. The important thing is to not stop questioning. Yes, and that's exactly what different scientists did. One discovery led to another discovery. And do you know what that resulted in? The discovery of subatomic particles. In 1897, J.J. Thomson discovered negatively charged particles or electrons. But the confusion was, how can atoms be neutral if they consist of negatively charged particles? This confusion was cleared by the results of some experiments performed by a German physicist, Eugene Goldstein, much before J.J. Thomson. In 1886, Eugene Goldstein performed an experiment using a discharge tube. He divided the tube into two chambers with a perforated metal plate. This plate acted as a cathode. An anode plate was placed at the other end of the first chamber. A small amount of residual gas was present between the anode and the cathode. When he applied voltage, cathode rays began to move from the cathode to the anode. And when they struck a gas molecule on their way, it emitted charged particles. These particles moved towards the cathode, passing through the holes in the cathode plate and produced a beam at the back of the cathode. Since they moved from anode to cathode, they were called anode rays. Goldstein later tested these rays. He observed that in the presence of an electric field, the rays changed their path. They deflected away from the positive charge. This indicated that the particles were positively charged. Hence, he concluded the anode rays were composed of positively charged particles. However, he didn't fully understand what he had discovered. It was many years later, in 1920, that Rutherford performed different experiments and concluded that these positively charged particles were protons. Protons are positively charged subatomic particles carrying a unit positive charge and mass equal to the mass of a hydrogen atom. Many such discoveries were made to give the final structure of an atom. Just like these scientists, we should also be curious and keep asking questions about things. Until next time.